The French for religion, Légion étrangère, has been created in France in 1831. But the cradle of the French for religion is somewhere else. For a moment it's just a rumor, but people told me that the heart of the French for religion starts to beat in Germany in a place called Castle Schillingfurst. I will visit this place for you. I am close to Schilling first now, but for a moment, no castle in sight. So I leave my car at the restaurant cafe Castle Schilling first and go on by walking towards the castle. Maybe I will meet some old friends here. It's a very old and genuine place here. It's really mythic and I can hear horses in the background. Oh, there's the castle. I'm looking forward to meet this place, to see this place, to go inside. Oh, look, here to the right side, you can see the colors of the French for religion, red and green. So, actually, I'm inside of the museum at Castle Schilling first. It's a magical place. I love the ambiente here and I'm waiting for somebody to guide me But still nobody to see nobody inside. It seems that I'm the only living person in this old castle right now <laughs> Schilling first the cradle of the French foreign legion magic The museum here wakes up some nostalgia in me and myself and I. Nostalgia with a big N like Legio Patria Nostra. Look at this Etanda, Le Fagnon. It's written Legio Patria Nostra, colors of the French for legion. And here the old tenues to the left, you have a, a tenue of a adjudant. And then followed by a tenue by a, a troop, a normal legionnaire with the capi blanc. Then to the right side is the white tenue. You can see a sergeant of the 3rd REI jungle regiment. Here, an old paratrooper from the first Rep Algerian war. And then you can see a sergeant chef with an old tenue who has been in use until, until maybe 1991, 92. To the left side here, you can see Goloas troop cigarettes and the, and the old gamel, you know, to eat your meal ready to eat you know it's a magical place i love it i love it i love it you also can see a bottle of wine made in pulubier made by the old by the ancien legionnaire here the journey you can see the buttons the golden buttons and each button you can read on each button you can read legion étrangère fantastic Yes, of course, Schilling first is an old piece of tradition of the French Foreign Legion. Here you can see an old copy of an officer of the French Foreign Legion. And this, look at this. This is the crest of the first rep. Premier Regiment Étranger de Parachutiste.
The French Foreign Legion has been created in March 1831 by the King Louis Philippe and here you can see the Royal Ordonnance. So here on my back you can see the old ancien quartier de la Légion Mirabeau who was part of the Regiment Hohenlohe and the Regiment Hohenlohe was preceding the French Foreign Legion. The history of mercenaries making duty in the French army goes really back in the past of the history of the French army, right? It already started in 1346 when Philip VI guided or led 15,000 Italian soldiers against Edward III from England in the battle in the battlefield and it didn't stop when Napoleon took under contract 60,000 warriors of the Schweizer Garden warriors coming from Switzerland you know yeah, the Garde Suisse the Guard Suisse who only swore loyalty to be loyal to the Pope or to him, to Napoleon. For me, the good feeling already was there when I when I came close to, when I came closer to the to the castle, and then when I crossed the bridge, you know, I uh, I was I was at home, kind of at home. And it goes on when I met the people there. I met some people there. Everything was clean. Everything was nice. They did a good job. And as I can, as I could see, it was a castle who was guided and administrated by a professional, you know, who did the job he did with his heart. And this was very impressive. And the museum, you cannot find out of France territory a museum like here in Schilling first. And I just have to say Chapeau Heinrich Buck because Heinrich Buck is the president of the Amical Mannheim here in Germany and he is the responsible of the museum and he did a fucking great job. Just stunning. Yeah. And then when I left the museum and the castle two or three hours later, I don't remember. I didn't want to, to leave this magic place. I was more rich, I was richer in experience. And I told me, myself and I, one more time that the French Foreign Legion, it's a European matter because the French Foreign Legion fights for the European belongings. <laughs>